Hi there, thanks for checking out this video on our channel. This is, um, we got these set of load cells that came into us for, uh, these were out of a Gallagher alleyway low bar. Um, the note says, uh, one low bar was weighing, the other low bar wasn't. So they took the one low bar that wasn't, took it apart, and sent us the load cells and the cable. Now I'm not going to go through the whole repair of how to test these things, but I'm going to show you what the fault is. I kind of just played with it for a minute. I was going to do a pressure test on these two cells to see what one might have been weighing light compared to the pressure I was putting on. There is an ohm reading you can do on the on the wiring on this, but um, I'm not going to get into that. But I'm going to turn my scale on. This is a W210 uh, Gallagher scale. This is a bare bone basic scale. It just weighs and locks on weight and that's all it does. But it's a good scale for for you know if you're not worried about EID stuff or you're not worried about um, um, traits and medicines and average daily gains and stuff like that if you just want to know what the weight of the animal is and jot it down by hand on a piece of piece of paper or put it in a spreadsheet on your computer when as you're weighing animals you can do that with it but we're going to turn on the manual mode which means it won't lock on unless I press the, the green button as you can see I'm going to zero it out. See how the numbers are running all over the place, climbing and climbing. I'm going to zero it out. And it keeps it climbing. So, not sure what's causing it yet. There's either a problem inside the connector, maybe the wiring, and the cable looks good, or one of these cells has got something wrong inside here. And all these cells, this goes for a lot of brands of, the, of low bars, stuff like that. They've got a strain gauge inside them they're hiding on the Gallagher's they're hiding underneath these pads here and they're sealed down to so you really can't pry them off unless you want to ruin the thing but something's probably gone wrong in one of the one of these two cells I'm guessing and uh, the pretty well one's a 2014 cell and the other one is a ooh, 2007 so this is the older cell this cell's got a sticker on the end it says uh whoop, turn it up right side up 2007 and this has serum on there first two digits is the serum or the year so that's 2014 so this one's you know uh, 12 years old this one's five years old so I'm gonna guess when I own test out these cells individually now I'm gonna lean more towards the older one just because it's older and been around a little longer so it may have the problem but we'll check out both cells we also check out the cable we ohm out and do all the continuity tests from the connector all the way down to where it goes into this junction box we cut them all flush here and we ohm out this cable and then we um, there's a resistor inside this connector that is like a signal resistor tells the scale what size load bars and load cells are connected to it so we'll check out that as well and then we'll just go do a quick you know once over on the whole thing so if you've got a set of um, you know Gallagher uh, blow bars that are giving you fits whether it's an old set from 20 years ago or a set that's just built today you know we work on all sizes of the Gallagher low bars um, we also work on true test low bars and scales um, we work on the Gallagher EID ear tag readers and uh, the, you know the handheld ones like the HR3 HR4 and HR5s and we also work on the true test uh, handheld readers and on the EID reader, we also work on the Gallagher, um, they got the BR reader and the R reader. They're the stationary ones that have those big black antenna panels that mount on the side of the of the run where the animals are coming through at. As they walk through, the antenna picks up the ear tags and uh, uh, reads it and then sends that back to the BR reader. And then um, you know, BR or the, what it, R reader or BR reader, but it stores the information in there and you can download it later or signal, put it in, match it up with the... Uh, the weight when the when you have the right model of scale hooked up to that system they can talk they talk together and work together so it's all one big system but true test has got the same similar system as well on their stuff so but we work on all that stuff so if you need any help uh troubleshooting a set of scales or you need one worked on uh just give us a call you can go to our website it's cattlescalerepair.com and uh, you can find out a little more about us, but we do uh, free quotes and everything that comes into us for repair. And you put an 18-month 18 18 month warranty 
on anything that we work on. So, um, as long as it's not chewed up by something or ran over by something or damaged, you know, whatever, we'll, um, uh, you know, repair uh, whatever we did last time within a year and a half of when it was fixed. So, but we will go through this unit and we're going to figure out what's wrong with it and uh, you'll get it fixed up for the customer. But see, there's the numbers bouncing all over the place. This is one fault that they'll have or when you step on there, it'll read a lot less. You know, you say you weigh 400 pounds or say you weigh 200 pounds and uh, you step up on the thing and it says you weigh 125 pounds. Then you know, okay, I've, I've got problems somewhere and then you can what you can do to narrow down which problem, what low bar might be having the problem, just unhook one bar and leave the other one connected. Trace the cable, it won't matter if it's left or right of the scale. Trace the cable down to whatever bar is still hooked up, turn it on, zero it out, make sure it shows zero pounds. And if it stays at zero, step on that one end that's still hooked up. And if it weighs are pretty darn close, within a few pounds, I say that, that bar is fine. If then you would, if that's the case, unhook the bar, reconnect the other one on, make sure nothing's on there. You know, no animals, no people, no weight of any kind besides a platform or a squeeze chute. Turn it back on, zero it out. If it stays at zero, step on that bar. If it weighs you a lot less, you know, then you know, okay, that's the bar that's got the problem. So then you can um, send us, you could take the bar apart, send us the guts of the bar with the cabling, on the, you know, send the load cells and the cable. That would be a lot less money on shipping. Or if you don't want to fool with it, on that part of it, just send us the whole load bar. Now, if it's a Gallagher scale or Gallagher load bar setup, we've got a, uh, this scale here that we use for testing load bars. But if you want, uh, if you send your load bar along with your scale, if you want the scale to be, if it's to be calibrated, if it needs it, we don't charge anything extra to calibrate a scale. Uh, it doesn't take too long to do it. We got a bunch of test weight that we can use on your load bar to to put um, to for the calibration. But if it reads just fine, then we're not going to worry about the calibration. But just give us a call. Go to our website. All our information is on there. CattleScaleRepair.com. I'll have a link down in the description area that you can click on. But until we do another video, I've had a troubleshoot, test, and repair a set of low bars or scales. We'll see you later.